Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube and I use spirits, my intuition and the tarot to communicate energies to you guys. Amazing, beautiful, awesome viewers. If you're returning to this channel, I want to thank you guys so, so much. There's a lot of readers online and I do totally appreciate you guys choosing me as a reader. I am so blessed and so glad you guys returned to me. And for those of you guys new to this channel, I sure hope you subscribe and that these messages resonate for you today. So I wanted to let you guys know you're all very safe. Welcome in this space with me today. We are looking at a pick a card reading and specifically we are looking at the person on your mind. This could be anyone at all. Okay. And how is this lunar eclipse full moon impacting this person specifically? Okay. So impacts of the lunar eclipse and i know we're coming also into the solar eclipse as well so there's a mixed bag of emotions and energy and a lot of people feeling either reflective of the past or empowered of what's going on in their life gaining answers and looking ahead so I don't know where this person is going to fall energetically um, because we could really be impacted by these planets and by the moon and the sun in, in many different ways. So specifically, we're going to try to see the impacts of the lunar eclipse. And if you're watching at the time of the posting, um, the full moon lunar eclipse is tomorrow. Now, all my readings are timeless. So this means that whenever you come across the reading, the message was meant to find you. And if you're watching at the time of the posting, like I said, the energy will be coming into play tomorrow. So what does this mean energetically? Well, the peak of the eclipse is happening tomorrow. So this energy will come in strong with that. Um, you could already be noticing this person impacted by the energy coming in slowly. Okay, could be a gradual sort of buildup, but everyone's kind of on their own timeline. So we'll give or take, uh, you know, I don't know, like a week or two before and after the lunar eclipse to see whether this energy is coming into fruition for this person or not. Okay. So I'm not quite sure um, how you're going to absolutely resonate with this because I'm going to be doing this from this person's energy field. So I will ask that you use your own intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear throughout this reading to determine whether or not this reading is the right reading for you. Okay. So yeah, take a look at these three options to choose from and keep your person in mind all right option one is this beautiful yellow lily flower or i guess this is on a lily pad it's not a lily it's a lotus flower lily pad flower lotus flower i think the lotus flowers grow in the mud and these are these grow in the water i believe on the lily pad white flower for option number two beautiful and option number three is this reddish orange flower all right so option one two three i'm gonna leave the video running for a bit if it doesn't sound like it's resonating for you then it might it most likely is not your pile now you might tap into your own energy very, very common here. If that's the case, you could certainly have another energy that's around you in another pile for the person on your mind. But sometimes our energy is strong and that is what comes through the reading. Okay, so if that's the case, you might want to listen to it or you might want to choose another pile. And the timestamps are in the description box and in the pinned comment below. I will see you at your pick. Hello, my beautiful pick number one. You picked the yellow lotus uh, lily flower or lily pad flower. I'm not quite sure what the name of this flower is. It, it looks like a lotus flower, but it grows on a lily pad. It's definitely not a lily, but either which way, it's a beautiful flower. And we're looking at pile one and pile one. The person on your mind could be anyone at all who you've come here about. And we're looking at how is this a lunar eclipse with the full moon tomorrow 
impacting this person? Okay, how is it impacting this person right here, right now? And like I said, because energy is not linear, it certainly could be something that's been building up for the last week or two and is peaking around the um, lunar eclipse. And then it could certainly fade out for the next couple weeks. If you're watching outside of the posting time, that's absolutely fine. All my readings are timeless. So just take this within the next full moon and apply that to your own situation. I do ask you to use your own intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear to determine whether or not this reading is for you. I'm going to be laying out these cards. This is called the intuition tune-in, so certainly will help you to determine whether this is your pile. Otherwise, I don't know how you can tell if this is your pile, so I don't know. If you want to skip ahead, you can certainly do so, but I will be getting to that eventually. All right, so let's take a look and these are pre-shuffled oracle cards i've not looked at them and we also have tarot okay so we'll get a little bit more clear if we're needing more answers so we have success i know that there is no greater goal than to love and we have workaholic with the blue ray which is the throat chakra we have surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Now, I don't know if I mentioned in this pile, but you could certainly be tapping into your own energy. Okay, if that's the case, your person's pile could certainly be in another pile. Okay. Surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. Wow. Uh, we have first quarter moon in Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck. And we have number nine, the keeper of dreams. Number eight, ignition with fire. Wow, okay. Aries, Leo, Sag coming through. Sagittarius coming through quite strong here. Uh, eight is the number of movement and change and attainment. It can also represent uh, the strength card in the tower, top and the tarot, and the tower and the tarot, or the star. Okay, star reduced. Number 51, conjunction with alliance. Hmm. Interesting. These kind of look like Canadian geese, and I've been seeing a lot of the Canadian geese wandering around here on my street as the snow starts to melt. All right. And these geese, they mate for life. Conjunction and alliance. Okay. 51 or the number six. Six is all about problem solving, compassion, harmony. We have 37 or the number 10 with descendant and invitation. We have have faith. It's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. Yet still, you must do exactly that because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. Beautiful. So we have the sign of Taurus, your beliefs, the costs of, use the most direct way and. Sign of Taurus. We have number 26, or the number 8 coming out again, gathering around the power of community. Beautiful mushrooms and, and some butterflies here. The power of community. 8, where was the other 8 we saw? Yeah, right here. Okay, so two 8s. And we have transformation. Beautiful. And we have renewal. Look at that. Springtime energy. Transformation and renewal. We have the Lenormand card of the Clover. This is the Six of Diamonds, which is the Six of Pentacles. And we have the number two. Two is all about uh, balance and duality, choices, uh, partnership. Six of Pentacles is about um, equal reciprocity. It's also about balance. 
and give and take. All right, so we have 13 with the judgment. You are uh, being asked to let go of all judgments and forgive those who judge you. All right, I am getting um, obviously the judgment in the tarot, but I'm getting heavy um, death card in the tarot as well with the number 13 in this transformation. So that is Scorpio energy coming through. Hopefully you guys can see this. And we have resolution. Resolution. Now it looks like she's coming from a funeral, which is giving me Scorpio energy again. Okay, let me see. Yes, okay. So this energy is coming through um, quite clear, but I will sit with this energy for a little bit and then get into your intuitive reading. Okay, so this person has not always been easy. I feel like this person, like I said, if this is your energy, then your person could be somewhere else. But I'm picking up somebody here who is uh, kind of difficult to work with. This person might have seemed very much not interested, potentially guarded. Potentially this person could have just, yeah, like seemed like they didn't trust you or they just were very, very difficult to work with. There was a lot of imbalance, I feel, at one point in time where this person just wasn't capable of collaborating or working with you. And I feel like this person is coming forward to find harmony with you. I, I feel like this person is really going to make a big effort here. I feel like this person is seeing the value in this connection between you and and actually opening up in, a, in a quite a big way here um i feel like this person's going to come forward with um in ways that they probably haven't in extending an offer of i don't know like uh, to sort of get the ball rolling whatever that means okay because i feel like this person was probably somebody who wasn't taking initiative, wasn't stepping forward, wasn't coming forward, and maybe not making a whole lot of offer or investment. And now I feel like this person is wanting to invest here. They're, they're going to come forward here. Something's inspired. I mean, this is the, about the lunar eclipse and the full moon in Libra and how this is impacting this person. So this could certainly be what's igniting them, but I feel like something has ignited this person to see the value in this connection for what it is here. And I feel like this person might have seen it, but was guarded and keeping it kind of to themselves. I feel like this person might have had a vision of what they envisioned this connection with you is about here but but i feel like this person is understanding the blessing here between you and this person and i feel like this person might have already started sh sort of showing up here um i can't help but get to the 17th of march here with the the, the clover but the leprechaun's hat so i don't know the 17th of march might be significant in this connection or represent something to you guys here okay this could have been i don't know a pivotal point here maybe when this person has made this shift or maybe it's an anniversary or birth date but i do feel as though this person is going to be making a big effort here okay now we see the workaholic here and i'm getting heavy eight of pentacles which to me is just the investment of energy time dedication and effort but I don't know if this person was mostly focused on work at some point, which it could be. But I feel like this person is now using that energy to be a little bit more creative. Here we see these two, I don't know, like blobs sort of painting, being creative. Okay, and this is also the throat chakra, which is all about communication and how we express ourselves. 
I feel like this person is going to be able to express themselves in ways maybe they have not before. And I feel like this person might have just been difficult in the past. And I feel like the difficulty here was them just being removed. I don't feel like this person was combative or confrontational at all. I just feel like the issue was this person being guarded and being blocked and not opening up, not allowing you to work with them. And yeah, I feel like maybe this connection with this person or whatever you guys were involved with might have been very intense for this person at some point. Um, so it was difficult for this person to stay centered. Although I do feel as though this person has been focused on you. Like I feel this person has a very good focus on you and this connection very intensely and intently. And I do feel like this person is really connecting to allowing themselves to, to feel what they, what they might've been blocking out in the past here, which I do feel for some of you guys could certainly be love. And for others, it could just be the passion to allow themselves to feel like they can open this next step towards working with you. I feel like this person, although they're coming forward here with this invitation, okay, now this could be an, an actual invitation to do something. I just feel like it's an initiation or a, uh, sorry, they'll initiate is what I mean. They'll initiate uh, an offering here of something or initiate a conversation more. Or they initiate movement. They initiate. That's what I feel. Okay. With this invitation, but for some of you guys, it could be a literal invitation to do something or go somewhere. But I feel as though this person is still in a sort of following mode. Okay. Cause I feel like you are leading this connection or you've been leading this person or you've been guiding this person or there's like a yeah, there's been like, uh, this person's been sort of watching or focused on you and kind of in your energy field, but I, I feel like this person's been very much closed off, like I said. So I do feel like this person, interesting, believe in your good luck and here we have the clover. I feel like there is something surprising here as well that's absolutely going to surprise you um and it could just be that this person just comes out of the blue in some way um in a way that definitely surprises you or says something here that's absolutely surprising but in a very beautiful way here like with the good luck in this clover this is the most positive card in the lenormand card and the lenormand deck with the clover okay it, it's about abundance and and we have good luck showing up here. So I'm feeling like wheel of fortune, things moving, things turning for the better, but, but I'm getting like a, a surprise thing here that you're not expecting. So we'll see what the tarot, what that could be. Okay. Um, now we have the power of community here. So I'm getting that, that there are people around and I don't know how this is impacting this connection, but I, I feel as though maybe this person, like what I'm, I'm feeling about this is maybe this person was really impacted by their environment. It could be their family, whatever community they have. Maybe you guys got a group of friends or specific people in their life here that have been influencing this person heavily, maybe in a way that's been the cause of them kind of being maybe guarded or the cause of this person's hesitation maybe, okay? But but I feel as though there's like support here with the power of community. Like I, I feel as though things are coming together where they might've been disjointed or where it seemed as though yeah, like this person was maybe choosing other people or choosing things to focus on here that caused the wedge or it, there's more harmony here. I feel there's a lot of harmony. And, and I think this empowers this person to allow them to relax a little bit because I don't know that this person was fully relaxed. 
And I, I feel like this person might be, I don't know, maybe they were a pessimist here or they just were expecting the worst or didn't want to be vulnerable and, and open up here because I feel like this person was almost thinking maybe this connection could be something that's too good to be true or something that maybe they didn't really fully believe could be happening for them in some ways. So I feel like this person is leaning into trusting, trusting the divine, trusting their feelings, trusting to open up and not be very guarded. I, I do feel there's a transformation happening here. And for a lot of you guys, this is a renewal of this connection between you and this person. So it could be that this person's been just very distant. It could just be that things have been very quiet with this person, or it could be this person left um or you left this person and and maybe this person is coming back here and and for some of you guys wanting a reconciliation okay but but i do feel as though for a lot of you guys i don't know necessarily that this person and you were completely apart i, I just feel as though this person's energy is changing in, in quite a, a different way here and i feel like this person's had time so maybe they were removed here, but I feel like it's more of a distance of energy to review the significance of this connection. I feel like this person really feels like you're a blessing here and that this connection is is a blessing to this person, like that there's a lot of value here. And, and I, I feel as though this person always seen it, but I feel like this person was in a cage or caged up in, in their mind. This person could certainly be a king of swords. I'm feeling energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but much in their mind, not allowing emotions and feelings and their passion to come through. I feel like with this transformation and this giving me like funeral energy, like I just feel like this person is no longer going to tap into that same energy, maybe that they've been in for some time and it could have been just a phase in this connection where this person had to learn to trust other people or themselves and connection and learn to open up their desires their wishes their dreams with with someone else without thinking it'd be turned against them in some way learn to trust but the resolution could be this reconciliation for a lot of you guys who have ended a connection with this person if you resonate with that, okay, I, I don't know that a lot of you guys have parted, but for some of you guys, I am feeling with the renewal and this resolution that it could be this was an issue that caused you guys to split or caused you guys to have distance, time apart, and this person's wanting to find a middle ground by offering, like the Six of Pentacles for me is about what we can kind of invest and give in a situation so I feel like this person is wanting to give and invest, which I do feel is a lot different from maybe where they were at. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacle energy. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, I'm getting, even though we're seeing the fire here with the Eights. So it's, it's the focus, it's the dedication. I am feeling a lot of focus coming through here. Like, look how focused these eyes are here. Okay, so I, I know this person might have been observing you maybe they were i don't know like watching you on social media or just watching you at work or intently seeing what you were doing or trying to gauge the situation so that they'd know how to react or what to do but i feel like there's a renewed trust here in this connection from this person and not even renewed i, I just feel like it's trust for the first time which will cause a renewal in this connection because i feel as though things could have definitely petered out here with this person if they continued being sort of in a guarded energy yeah i feel like they're more confident more trusting and they feel more support here okay so let's pull some tarot and see if we see some more because it's very basic uh, energy just kind of coming through here but we'll ask spirit here for a clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of beautiful pile one spirits what is this lunar eclipse full moon in libra 
How is it impacting the person on pile number one's mind, the person they came here about? How is the lunar eclipse impacting this person specifically? Can we get a deeper look? Thank you so much. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile one. I don't know if I said pile two. Pile one. Clear and concise message. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, pal one, for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. I'm truly blessed. Thank you so much. So bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. This is all about compassion and love. This could certainly be your energy. Let's reveal the cards and see what we see. So we have the Page of Wands giving me this fire energy page of wands passion exploration invitation as well communication and we have the ace of pentacles manifestation new beginning in a practical way an offer here and yes definitely uh, i'm getting um an offering of initiating something here. And like I said, for some of you guys, it could be a, a, an invite to something, but I feel like it's initiating something by way of conversation or to explore something here. I feel this person is definitely going to communicate first in some way here. And we see the acorns. Acorn, it could be showing how long maybe it's taken this person to come into an energy here of manifestation. We have the lovers here coming out, Gemini energy. Lovers is about a choice uh, and it's about finding harmony between two people here. Okay, so I do feel as though there's been harmony found or this person's tapped into some something that they haven't been able to choose or, or see the harmony or the balance. We have the Page of Swords, more communication. Yeah, I feel like this person didn't allow themselves to sort of um, explore, didn't allow themselves to see this connection because I feel like it was a very closed off energy, like almost cutting it off at the knees in some way here. And now I feel like there's a more open sort of energy to understand and to explore and to communicate, although to page energy, like this is youthful energy here. Um is the beginning of of this person coming out i feel in some way with this renewal and this page energy but definitely if you haven't heard from this person or they've been silent they're going to be communicating quite a bit here and i feel like they are making a choice here to manifest to find balance to find cohesion to to bring you guys on the same page here and i'm feeling a lot of love here i'm also feeling this is your person's energy coming from this queen of cups right now and it could be wanting to reflect back at some point in time if you were resonating as a queen of cups you're emotionally giving to this person i feel this person's coming out as an emotional compassionate caring energy i'm also feeling the creativeness coming through here like i feel there's there's a creativity that's coming through this person And I don't know if how it's connected to this connection per se, because I feel like this person is, I don't know, like creatively cultivating something in their own life, but it's as a result of this connection. It's opened this person up creatively. I feel like this person might be working on a project. I think this came through in one of my other readings. It's coming through again for somebody okay this person's very much tapped into their creative side here and and their psychic abilities could certainly be opening up for a lot of you guys okay like a creative project that uh, might be where they connect to unworldly things and get fed information from the divine and their creativity it could be painting writing whatever this thing is okay and i feel like they're spending a lot of time doing this but I, I feel as though this person is more open now to maybe letting you into this world a little bit more. Because I really feel like this person wants to bring a sense of balance, 
and harmony to where they were possibly shutting you out. And so this person is feeling really inspired here, okay, with this page of wands and this ignition fire to create more. Like, it's almost like this connection could be this person's muse or inspiration in some way. And intuition's coming through very strong there with that Queen of Cups. So regardless if your person's Divine Feminine or Masculine here, I'm getting one of the cards in the tarot that speak about love in a way here that's very compassionate and very open okay because even the king of cups doesn't express feelings and emotions here in the same way that the queen of cups does so somebody very compassionate and caring and loving here unconditional love okay so beautiful energy i'm feeling here and, and potentially this person was blocked from this under that we have the judgment no is this the world 21 is the world sorry i thought this was judgment we have judgment here, but after judgment is the world. Okay, and I think I got to block this for YouTube. So the world is all about completion, ending of a cycle. And it is preparing for the next. Like with the renewal here, it's definitely hand in hand here with the world because this is like graduating from whatever phase in life and closing the chapter in order to enter this new energy i'm getting springtime energy and i'm recording in the spring so i do feel like spring is quite significant here uh, impacting this connection we see the lion and a raccoon a rabbit and a snake it's a lot of animal energy lion's all about courage and here it's roaring so i feel like there is maybe leaning into one's fear or leaning into one's courage the wings of a dragonfly which is seeing through illusion here and maybe seeing something for what it is which i feel was what i was feeling at the beginning of the reading was this person wasn't really maybe recognizing or seeing this connection for what it was snakes healing shedding the old okay having this renewal energy and transformation with the snake it's it's healing and the raccoon could be wearing a mask here, okay? Someone that um, wasn't being authentic or wasn't being true to, yeah, their authenticity with the with the blue ray sh um, throat chakra. I'm seeing the scorpion. So someone was guarded and someone might have kept you out at an arm's distance here, okay? I'm feeling Scorpio energy. So yeah, I, I feel like this is changing. Okay, I, I do feel like this energy is certainly changing here. So let's see, we have the Hierophant. Hierophant is all about what we value. Okay, this is our lifestyle and what we commit to a higher level of commitment here. So I do feel this person's wanting a higher level of commitment here. This is holding the Ace of Cups, which is all about self-love and, and expressing one's emotions. And we have the waters coming out of here. So it's like an opening of emotions and and the scroll here instead of being closed the scroll is open and the scrolls to me when they're closed it's like hidden information or knowledge here this open it's like this person is opening up information to you that might have been secret at one point in time or guarded or held sort of you know like with this scorpion they were kind of maybe defensive or guarded and now this is open so I, I feel like this is open communication. I, I also feel as though now I'm getting clarity here on what I was saying about this uh, clover. And I was feeling something sort of happening here that's maybe um, it's getting energy feeling over here. Something that's happening kind of shocking in some way, like almost like unbelievable to you in, in a good way, in a positive way. And I feel it again from this card here. And I, I feel as though you're going to learn information from this person that maybe they haven't shared with you in the past that's going to put things into perspective that i feel you might have been working on with this person or trying to understand for quite some time here with all these acorns but i feel like the information's coming here and, and you get to gain a better understanding because i really feel like this person is wanting to get on the same page here and manifest a new beginning beautiful energy here hierophant is 
Taurus energy. So Taurus coming through quite strong here for you guys. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, that's essentially the energy I'm feeling here is somebody who wants to even the playing field with you. Six of Pentacles is about how we invest in situation, how we can give in order to restore balance because at one point in time we're needing to receive as well so it's all about equal reciprocity you know sometimes we're in an upper hand to donate volunteer and gift things and sometimes we're down and out and need assistance from others so it's this balance in life and i feel like this person might have been on the other end of this balance incapable maybe of stepping up or and look at how safe these people look. I feel like this is in the pentacle realm, somebody who is capable of energetically maybe spending time with you, making you feel safe, protected here. And I see child, so I'm feeling strong inner child energy coming from this. So I feel like this person might have had to connect to their inner child. We're seeing pages again, child. So there's a lot of inner child. And because of the snake we're seeing here with the healing, this to me is giving me a lot of inner child healing this person's had uh, had to do. And they might have been doing this, like I said, for quite some time. Because I do feel like you've known this person for some time. And you guys could have been apart for a little while here. Or at least this person could have been distant. Or something's triggered this person. And because we see the mask here with the raccoon, I feel like this person might have been wearing, you know, a false mask of pretending to be someone they're not. Or they weren't connected to their inner child. Maybe they were refusing to connect with the inner child and do the healing here in order to accept some sort of truth and do some sort of healing. But I do sense that that is something that they're coming forward with. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to put these back actually, and then I'm going to pull um, to ask about this clover and see what this clover is it could just be very shocking to you i i feel here that this person's 180 or this complete change this this is about an epiphany a realization coming into an awareness and the fact that we go from judgment to the world i feel like this person isn't about to repeat any cycles from the past here because they've done the work or understood some sort of higher level of lesson here with that higher fence and that scroll open like they see something differently here they understand something differently and they can communicate to you what this is about so for some of you guys this person could have certainly been very focused on other things and work okay i don't know i do feel like pulling these but i'm going to keep those aside i'm going to ask specifically here for the clover and this shocking sort of turn of events here. Like, what is this? Maybe it's this invitation. Is a surprise? What is this? I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise if, you know, Spirit's going to tell us. And for all of you guys, potentially something different. But the gist of what this clover is about in this connection, Spirit, what is this surprise, this energy I'm feeling here with this shocking things for the better? Feel one more here as well one more spirit clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good thank you so much okay we have the two of cups look at that you guys this is what's shocking i, I think this person maybe was denying or not wanting to show up like two of cups this is partnership this is finding balance between two people expressing and showing love giving in a balanced way this is about partnership and love Look how intertwined they are too. And like I said, the geese, they mate for life. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this person is coming forward with the Hierophant that's also a marriage card here. Mating for life. The Two of Cups. This could be like, you know, this person really wanting to lean into a commitment here, you know. And, and the Have Faith could certainly be offering a commitment, invitation, offering a commitment Yeah, whatever the next step commitment is here. And for some of you guys, it could certainly be marriage. I mean, if you're obviously not at that stage with your person or not wanting that, then whatever this beautiful balance of harmony is, I feel this beautiful balance of harmony. And I love sitting in this energy for you guys. 
and I, and I feel like this is this is a blessing here, but it may be very surprising at how much this person is able to reflect maybe back to you a balance here. Look how intertwined these two are. And and when they have the lobster, this is my first time using these, I think, maybe my second since I got these cards because I found them very difficult to use in the past. But I'm absolutely loving this. You see the lobster claw here. And with the scorpion, I was feeling like someone defensive, you know, and, and so, I mean, a lobster claw could be defensive, but this lobster claw, like, is open. It, it looks like it released itself, you know, it's not all back. And, and some of you guys might be guarded. Some of you guys might still be in an energy of uh, not believing this person's as open as they are, or release their grip here of maybe something that they were very tight about you know the scroll being wound up and now there it seems like it's open it's not as guarded and maybe this person is capable of communicating again in the blue a lot of the throat chakra here information especially expression of self in a way they have not in the past and this is very surprising to you so we have the knight of swords yeah very quick i think this is happening very quick and this is what this sudden thing is um or the shocking thing and when i say shocking i mean like it's just unexpected in some way and i feel it's unexpected as quickly as it comes in this is the quickest moving night this is communication taking action yeah taking action and i'm getting um i am getting from this sagittarius energy even though i know sagittarius isn't knight of swords but just from this sort of half like centaur, I think it is. Uh, I don't know what what it's called, but half human and half whatever this is, goat. I don't know. But yeah, uh, very quick. I, I think it's gonna surprise you how quick this person is taking action, moving forward, and in initiating. That's what I keep getting. I keep hearing initiating, initiating. So maybe they're initiating more conversation. They're initiating more time together. They're initiating this balance, and they're coming forward. And look at that, you guys, the Queen of Cups coming out again. And you guys saw me shuffling. I even pulled these cards. This person was coming out as the Queen of Cups. And this, I think, is what's shocking and, and surprising. Like, maybe you never saw this person as a Queen of Cups energy. You know, somebody who can give their emotions forward in, in an expressive way of compassion, unconditional love. It's the most love I can pull from the tarot here. And I feel like it's coming forward in a balanced way towards you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see what this final message is from Spirit as the takeaway. So we have the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You guys, you guys, look at this. These are the answers I think you guys might have been looking for or that scroll that's opening up. Whatever was happening here okay this person was had a lot of anxiety i feel that it's caused you a lot of anxiety here a lot of stress in this connection this could be dark night of the soul stuck in her head feeling very blocked incapable of taking action because we might be so scared of what could happen and what will happen and our own mental prison or limitations and our thoughts are getting the best of us and this is not a good place to be heavy anxiety and five of cups sadness looking back on a situation full of regret sadness and starfish for me is uh, again the energy we're getting with the raccoon it's like kind of how we're, we're perceived so we might i don't know like wear a mask or we're really concerned with how others see us and stories we might tell ourselves that we have to be and i feel like there was a lot of pain here you know a lot of pain and sadness and i feel like going from this place this person who's been very guarded and very much anxious and i don't know if you guys have parted but i feel like they're looking back on what it is that happened here in this connection it could be their own actions it could be just seeing what didn't transpire here in this connection this is regret remorse feeling sad about what happened or what didn't happen and feeling at a loss and going into a ten of cups and i feel like it speaks to this shocking thing like we go from a five of cups to a ten of cups 
Okay, this is the happily ever after, two people coming together to commit for a lifetime here. Okay, to build a family together and just live a life happily ever after here. Beautiful Ten of Cups, ultimate emotional fulfillment for two people. So this is how this is impacting this person. This is a very lovely reading. I don't give false hope readings here, as you guys know. So if you resonate with this, you might already be seeing this person in this energy. And if not, then probably not, because there's this shock here. Or maybe you've already been shocked here in this person's energy turning around here. I feel like it's a quick, very quick turnaround from a Nine of Swords, Five of Cups to something that is a completely polar end, okay? Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. Like, this is the most love. The most expressive love here and showing of love and balance of love that we could pull from the tarot, okay? So, I hope this helped you guys. Um, if you guys were interested in another pile, then I will go see you there. This could certainly be your energy. Okay, if this is your energy, your person could be elsewhere, and I will see you soon. Bye! Hello, my most amazing pile two. You guys pick the white lotus flower that grows on the lily pad. Let us take a look at the person on your mind, and how is this lunar eclipse, full moon in Libra, impacting the person on your mind? This could be anyone at all. I'll read energy exactly as I see it. This could certainly be your own energy, okay? Because that happens here. And if that's the case, then the person on your mind could be elsewhere. Use your own intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear throughout this reading to determine whether or not this is your pile, because there is no other way for me to tell you whether this is your pile or not. So I'll be laying out these cards. I've not looked at them at all and just shuffle them. And this is called the intuition tune in. So tune into your intuition. And if you want, you can certainly skip ahead, but I don't know how you'll know this is your pile. So hopefully you can get the information you need. Now, let's see, how is this lunar eclipse full moon and libra impacting this person we have death i am learning that endings are merely beginnings oh my goodness scorpio energy coming through we have bittersweet with the blue ray which is throat chakra bittersweet i feel someone could have possibly celebrated a birthday or an anniversary here mm-hmm we have surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. I know we don't like always hearing about divine timing, divine timing, because divine timing sometimes just, again, does not line up with the ego's timing and causes lots of frustration. Last quarter, moon and Taurus. Be proud of yourself. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Taurus energy coming through. And we have 43 with imagination. 43 could be significant. Or the number 7. Somebody might have had a birthday. Might have turned 43 or 34. That's coming through. Okay, again, take that as confirmation. Could be this person, could be you. Imagination. Okay, and butterfly. All about transformation. We have a number seven here, darkness moon. Interesting, because we're talking about the lunar eclipse here. Darkness moon, number seven. Okay, and we have number three, Gemini with cross pollinate. Okay, and we have presence. You're being asked to spend more time in the present moment to stop ruminating about the past or longing for the future. Your life is happening right now, and when you're not present for it, you miss all of its beauty. And the house we have here is the 12th house. 12th house, it says, seeking oneness with all there is, philanthropy, and keep your involvement hidden. So 12th house, all about endings, healing, closure, spirituality, solitude, karma, old age, the afterlife. It's also about what's hidden, our limiting beliefs. It's all the subconscious stuff going on. Okay. Very deep. That's a Scorpio energy I'm feeling coming through again. And we have hollow bone teachability 28 or the number 10. 10 is all about closures, endings, completion, end of a cycle, transformation, feeling Scorpio again. Also 10 represents the wheel of fortune in the tarot and it could be the sun reduced in the tarot so wheel of fortune is uh, the turning of luck maybe we're getting clarity here teachability 
feeling more Scorpio energy coming through. Scorpio is coming through very strong. Okay, 20. Feast of Plenty. Choices and their consequences. Hmm. Yes, choices and their consequences. A decision, a choice. Duality. Balance. Okay. Lots of blue as well I'm feeling here. So we have unique gifts. And we have initiative. We have two Lenormand cards here. We have the fox coming out with the nine of clubs. That is the nine of wands, the spiritual warrior. And number 14, or the number five. Okay, five's all about uh, conflict, uh, loss, change. It could be about rebuilding. And with the fox here, it could be career energy, it could be sneaky energy. Let's see. Stealth like, trying to pull something off. We have the sun. Yeah, we are feeling sun energy coming through with um, one of these cards. Where was I feeling the sun? Right here with the number 10 here. Okay, so sun. This is Leo energy. Seeing something, getting enlightened, joy, bliss. Ace of diamonds, which is the ace of pentacles. Okay, manifestation, new beginning. And then we have 31 up here. Could be significant or the number four. Fourth house is all about the home, family, roots, foundations. Four is about structure and stability and planning. Four is also the emperor in the tarot. And it, it's the death card um, reduced in the tarot. And we're getting death here connecting back to this energy. Also... Sorry, yes. Okay, this solar eclipse is coming up. Okay, if you're watching when I'm posting, although again, my readings are timeless, so you could be watching outside of the post here, but I feel like the solar eclipse is certainly coming into play as well here. But specifically, we're asking about the moon. And we're seeing moon here, and certainly this looks like a moon. And we're seeing the moon coming through here as well, and the moon coming through here as well. Lots of moon energy. So I know this is a moon reading, but I've never seen so many moons here. And the moon, moon's behind here as well. It could be just the glow, the moon of the glow, the moon of the glow, the glow of the moon, which is um, Pisces energy. Yes, okay. So I'm getting a very strong uh, solar eclipse energy coming through here. One, speaking up. Your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. And we have a resistance. Giving me two of pentacles energy. And also giving me um, the nine of wands energy that we were getting from this nine of wands. And we have intention. Gold glitter Okay, let me sit with this energy and see what this sort of energy comes through here before I start to channel. Okay, so interesting energy. It, it feels to me almost a little bit like a mixed bag here. If it sounds like your energy, then your person could be elsewhere here. But I feel like this person is coming into a, a new energy in which they've been shaken from their past because maybe in the past they've been very fixed or under... Uh, one assumption they're under some sort of belief system or whatever energy they were in okay so you have to know this person it feels to me like this now new energy here is mixed 
it's not as fixed or not as certain or not as the heavy mindset or whatever mindset they were in. It's, it's almost like this person is coming into some sort of awareness about how they've behaved or who they are. And they're kind of reviewing, but it's giving them more questions than answers. It's kind of what I feel here, okay? So I, I do feel like this is this is putting an end to however this person it might have been in the past. Because I feel like what this moon is sort of highlighting to this person is a lot of aspects of themselves and questions that I feel this person might have not have been asking, might have not have even cared to sit with. And so now it's like they understand certain parts of themselves and now they're sort of not quite sure. I feel here like, I don't know, like I feel like there's just so many questions here that this person has about how can they impact their future? What, what can they do here to make things different? Because I, I do feel as though this person might have done things in the past here that now they're looking back saying, I, I kind of have a little bit of regret or I, I would choose to do things differently maybe now than I did in the past, but I'm still not quite sure here of what it is I'm supposed to do or, or what, you know, but I feel like this person is getting closer to understanding themselves and the truth. And I feel like this comes with heavy emotions with all this moon, but also a lot of confusion because when we are deep in our emotions, we're allowed to feel and process, but sometimes it, it could cause more confusion. So I feel like this person is working towards getting more certain, but I feel like they're really amidst sorting through a lot of this. So I do feel as though their creative self is reaching a peak here. And I feel like this person is right tapped into their intuition and right tapped into any sort of creative things that they potentially were not working on or were not seeing. I feel like they're very connected to that. But I feel as though this person's being pulled out of their norm to deal with or to face or to sit with a new energy here in order for them to come out, for them to, I don't know, like work with you, work with others, be constructive. And maybe this person hasn't seen themselves from this perspective or understood themselves in this way. So I feel like this is causing this person to really look at themselves so they can transform into something that's more authentic. So I, I do feel like this is lighting this person up to want to make the changes in their life here that they're needing to actually like buckle down and do because I feel like this person might have been ignoring any sort of life cues or ignoring intuition or ignoring any consequences of them just kind of doing whatever they do. So I, I feel like this person is coming into a more authentic version of self, but it comes with a very painful sort of lesson here of having to sort through a lot of their subconscious and a lot of having to get comfortable with their authentic self. And, and maybe this person still feels a little bit like discomfort, being vulnerable, discomfort and showing up as their true self. But I, I feel like they're understanding this now, like that they have to be more authentic if they're wanting authentic relationships and things to work out for the better. They'll have to learn to be proud of who they are, but who are they really and sit with this. And, and I feel like this person could have been you know, in, in a seven of swords energy, which isn't always lying, but it, it's like a deceitful energy of sabotage because this person might have been trying to go under the radar or just like do things in a, in a roundabout way, circumventing the work or circumventing having to sit with their themselves. So I feel like with this presence, it's like this person can't run. This person can no longer be stuck in past energy because I, I feel like the past is is being... 
removed here uh, because there's nothing to hang on to. And, and the present cannot happen until they deal with what's in front of them because I feel like it's very intense. And I feel like this person is having to sit with this. And I, I think it's discomfort, but I think it's the clarity that this person is going to need. It's going to bring them into certainty and enlightenment and, and joy, but I feel like it's very challenging and I feel like it will be up and down. And I feel like it's, like I said, causing a little bit more questions and answers. Maybe this person feels very turbulent right now and they're not quite sure. And they feel more confused than when they started, but that's how we know they're un untangling certain parts of themselves that need untangling. This is the biggest transformation and change of their life. And I feel like in the past, it was easy to be ignorant, easy to just not dive in. And now I feel like this person might be wanting to kind of get to the other side in some way, but we're seeing with divine timing, it's like, you know, the divine knows when we're supposed to get what we're supposed to get and, and do the work that we're supposed to do in order to have enlightenment and understandings. So I feel like this person with this teachability is certainly learning about self, learning about how the past has impacted them, how to close the door to the past. And I think there's a lot of ancestral healing happening here as well. Okay. With all of these feathers, they always give me kind of ancestors or, or watching or guiding. And I feel like this person's on this path and I, I feel like this person is going through a wake up, shake up. It could even be a dark night of the soul. Maybe it's freshly after, or this is right before. I don't know, but uh, but I feel like this person could certainly be going into dark night of the soul, where we wouldn't wish that upon our, our worst enemy because it, it's so painful. But at the same time, it's the most beautiful thing here because it opens up our unique gifts, our, our creative talents. We connect to the divine and. All of our psychic abilities get opened up, but it's, yeah, it's like a bittersweet sort of energy here. And I'm getting the burning tree here. So I am getting like, almost like the phoenix rising or the rebirth here, you know, and the burning of the ego. So it could certainly be this ego death, this dark night of the soul, the phoenix rising and we're in the process of getting burnt like all of our beliefs are getting burnt all of our understandings of what we thought was true is getting flipped on its side and we don't know what's real what's not and this is what i feel this person's going through here okay and i feel like the moon is very much an energy here where we can't really see clearly and it's because the divine's involved here and we're used to seeing things maybe very black and white and our mind sort of compartmentalizes, makes things easier. And now when we are emotionally in, in, invested in, in ourselves in a way here that sees something we can't unsee, it sometimes opens the can of worms, okay? And I feel like the can of worms here is, is uh, causing more questions than answers right now for this energy. But I do feel like the sun is coming, the clarity is coming, enlightenment is coming, but it, it takes a process here. So this person is a little bit turbulent right now, you know, and, and I feel like they're receiving a lot of downloads from spirits. They're getting fed, they're getting connected to their intuition. And I think this person might not realize it yet, but this is all for the better. And I feel like this person is connecting to their more authentic self. I feel like this person is having to go from somebody maybe who wasn't super authentic and straightforward here in, in a way that was connected to true self because they were too wrapped up in, in maybe things of the past, not seeing the present or just matrix world and now having to be authentic and allowing the soul to guide and shining their light, speaking their authentic truth in a way they might have not have been able to do in the past because they can't avoid it anymore. But I, I feel like this person is not making any movements, like uh, physical movements. I feel like this person is balancing energies internally. I feel this person is going through an internal chaotic thing that's happening here, okay? Um... Yeah, so it, it doesn't allow this person to make any decisions or move at this time because they don't know. Like one minute they might think 
this about themselves the next minute it changes and you know but i do feel as though this person is like this is all for the better and that this person is on is on their way to this it's just it seems to me like this is quite fresh here so let's pull some tarot and see if we could see some more because this is a very interesting reading here for pile two and certainly could have tapped into your own energy but we'll ask spirit here for a clear and concise message regarding pile two and how is this lunar eclipse full moon in libra impacting the person on pile two's mind the person that came here about how is the energy of the lunar eclipse impacting this person clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile two please protect me and the viewer as i channel this message spirit thank you so so much and thank you so much pile two for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time I am truly blessed. Thank you so, so much. Well, let us take a look at this energy. Okay. So we have six of pentacles. This is the equal reciprocity. This is inner child. I'm feeling the ancestors here again. I'm feeling inner child healing. I'm feeling this person sort of sitting here and balancing out their energies and and i feel like they're protected here okay they're protected by their ancestors very heavily i feel here but i feel i'm feeling heavy four of swords which is reflecting healing not really moving or doing anything except for healing and, and reflecting and being protected here very safe inner child okay and but the six of pentacles is about balance it's about uh, investing so I, I do feel this person energetically is investing in their future in, in a way here, but I, I feel like it's them receiving from the universe what it is that they're needing in order to find balance in their life. Because I feel this person might have thought they were balanced in some way, but but I feel like it, everything's been flipped upside down in order to get closer to themselves, their truest self. Here we have the Two of Swords coming out again because we had the Two of Swords showing here with the choices and their consequences, Beasts of Plenty and the Two Swords up top. Two Swords is, is all about balance, but it's also about indecision and sometimes it's the In Denial card. Now, these swords aren't crossed and sometimes when I see crossed swords, it's like an impasse, two things that can't coincide. We're not sure we bury your head in the sand and we're kind of stop stuck these two of swords are curved and to me this sort of truth should be straightened up that's honest and, and truthful here with the curve and pointing down I, I feel like this person and two of them yet they don't know the truth because they're in the process they're in the moonlight they don't know the truth of who they are the truth of what they want they're they're really struggling to understand what they thought was real isn't the truth might be bent and because we see elephant and the elephant is all about our memory okay elephants well elephants have very good memory so for me elephants are representing the past the memory things we remember again child inner child sort of memories and traumas and ancestral wounds and stuff i feel like things from the past are haunting things from the past might have led us to believe certain things about ourselves that aren't true that we might have thought were true Again, this is the programming, the matrix, indoctrination, conditioning from our parents, from others, from our friends, from just being socially in the matrix. So we carry these identities, these stories, these beliefs, which is all ego and mind. And none of it is true because the ultimate truth is, is God is love and God is truth. Everything else is just a construct here and a, and a, and a thought. Okay, this is, again, not living in the present so i feel like this person's having to process a lot of the past and until they reach the point of enlightenment and because I, I feel like the spiritual awakening the ego death it, it keeps us in our mind and our, our head until we realize that the mind and the stories and the programming is the problem is the cause of suffering but i feel like we always want answers we want clarity we seek truth with the mind rather than seeking truth with the heart so what's this person going through a lot of pain here i feel a lot of pain because what they thought was real isn't 
and ooh, now they're not sure what's real and what's honest. And the past is, is playing heavily on their mind. Who they are, what they wanted, who they thought they were, what they were told to be, what they identified with, all of that's now on its axis. Here we have two of cups. This is the balance again. So this person's learning about balance. This is the relationship card. So I feel it's like, how is this person in relation to everything in their life? Now, this could certainly reflect the connection between you and this person if you guys were in a relationship, although I feel like this is more signifying this person's connection to relationships, people, things, because we are in relation to a relationship to everything. How do we engage with our work, with our family, with our partner, with ourselves? Like, how, what is our relationship to ourself? Like, how are we balanced? Are we expressive with emotions? Where can we find balance? This person's really, really tr having to find balance. And I feel like this person's tangled up and very turbulent. And we see a tear here. So certainly it's an emotional experience for a lot of people to go through this. And we have the, yes, the temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is balance again. Balance, balance, balance. Okay. This is also the healing card, which I was getting four of swords energy coming from this which is healing and having to alchemize which is really like working with the ingredients in which we were given by the divine and that we've created and then trying to find balance with that so we can show up in the world and work with other people and things in relationship to make to make positive things right so like two things come together to create cohesion turning lead to gold alchemizing and transmuting energies into positive things look how freaking long this guy's beard is here too so i don't know like i do feel as though maybe this has been ongoing for some time or is still going to go on for some time and if this is your energy i apologize because this does feel like suffering but again divine timing i feel the beard here is is talking about a, a long time actually what i'm getting now clarity from spirit thank you spirit not necessarily this is taking long, although it might feel like it is, certainly when we're suffering and upside down, it feels long. But what I'm getting is the ancestral impacts of this, um, of its sort of inner child ancestral wounding that's being healed. Like this is generations of generations of generations of generations. And so I feel like this is very, very much a very intense spiritual awakening or ego death or whatever you want to call it to the dark night of the soul a realization of healing a lot of ancestral traumas okay like from many many lifetimes and it could be just even our own lifetimes of many 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 passing lives and in this lifetime this person is transmuting this healing this so it's very intense Wow, Sagittarius energy. I'm just absolutely lost in this reading here, you guys. This is like, I haven't read a reading like this in quite some time. What else do we see here? We have the world. This is closing out a cycle in our life, a successful closure with the world. So we prepare for the new cycle and it's the womb energy because we're incubating for the new and preparing for the new and for me this is the pivotal point of time where this person's going to say pre-spiritual awakening and post okay this is the end of life as they've known it life will never be the same for this person in, in, a, in a good way okay like this person's life is changing in a good way because they're waking up to who they are and how they connect they're healing a big 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 part of themselves and it's absolutely beautiful energy here, although very painful and quite the process. But the world is about finishing up a cycle here and successfully going through this. So this person will successfully go through this process. I don't feel as though this person has ended like the spiritual awakening cycle, the difficult cycle. But I feel like what's come to an end is their old self. Death. This is complete transformation. Their old self is no longer around. And also this dragonfly 
wings on this lady is, is cutting through the illusions, seeing through the veil, seeing the truth for what it is. I feel like this is what this person's working on, trying to see truths, no longer looking at things from the eyes of the matrix or from the eyes of conditioning and programming. They're now seeing truths, which is, you know, the universal spiritual truth, consciousness, non-duality. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. And we're seeing the tower. Yeah, this is definitely this person's like upside down here in some way. Okay, towers, the crumbling of what was built on shaky ground. It can't stand the test of time because it is not the objective universal truth of God. It is construct and mind and ego. So to me, I'm getting ego death with this tower. Shattering of illusions, identities, falsities, and seven of swords, you know, where we're self-deceiving and self-deceptive in a way that we might not realize or recognize. And ten swords, yeah, the end again. So ending with the world, ten swords, painful ending with the ten swords. Big part of this person's world is ending and it's very painful here. And we have eight of, no, this is Libra energy, which is justice, sorry. Eight major arcana in this card is not the strength, it's the Libra, or it's the Libra, it's the justice, which is Libra energy, because sometimes justice comes out as eight on some of the tarot packs. This is one of them. And so this is, again, balance. Balance, well, twos are all about balance and balance. All these are about balance. Okay, and the same with this. So five cards about balance here. It's it's finding balance of self. It's balancing the masculine and the feminine. It's no longer in, in a matrix energy because we have to learn who we are and, and look at this sort of truth. Okay, so it's it's embracing a truth here and having to balance it out and, and transmute energies that we might have carried at one point that were built on shaky ground that weren't allowing us to walk in truth, bring justice to self. So I feel like this person is working on balancing self, working with gaining truths. And uh, yeah, this is how this moon's impacting this person that I'm tapped into here. It's quite significant. So it doesn't really talk a whole lot about you know, how, how it impacts you between you and this person, but this person is being impacted in a way here that uh, I feel their top concern here is certainly getting through, getting through this period because it is very emotional, very intense, very confusing. Nothing's very clear. Things aren't what they seem. Digging up all the things in the subconscious that are terrifying, that are hurtful. So let's pull three cards kind of as a wrap up here for this pile number two's person and how they're being impacted by this lunar eclipse. Spirit, can we please get three cards, anything I've missed, anything pile two is needing to know that I missed or that they want to know that's unclear right here, right now in regards to the lunar eclipse and how it's impacting the person on their mind. Thank you so much. Wow, 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 wow. So we have Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy. And we have the temperance, the balance again, healing, and we have the five of swords. So what's going on here? Well, uh, I, I feel as though the person that I'm reading for here is definitely not in an energy here of being able to offer anything of themselves at this point in time, okay? Because I do feel as though this person is trying to balance and heal and, and transmute a lot of energy, but I feel as though this person could certainly be trying to work on what it is that they want to manifest for themselves with this queen of wants she's all ma master manifester and brings towards her what she wants so i feel like this person can't manifest yet because they don't know what it is that they want so i feel like this is a period of pause here where this person's having to really understand what they want 
so that they could take aim and precision towards gaining what they want. But this is a period of time, like this senator, I don't know what they're called here, half human, half goat person. She has her wand. I say she, it could certainly be masculine energy, but in this depiction, it's in the fire or in this liquid gold or whatever. And it's like she's focused on this process, which is the step right before we take aim, before we go after something, before we get inspired, before we act, you know? So I feel like this process is, is taking a while, is going to take a while because this person needs to know what they want and it's like this pro process takes a while to do in order for the next process to be accurate and for the next process to like which is taking aim to to be successful we can't skip a step so i feel like this person cannot skip a step this is part of the steps in their healing process part of the steps in them becoming this strong passionate, independent, fiery energy who can manifest and bring things towards them and, and know what they want and be very certain and, and yeah, like just fired up and inspired and unstoppable, you know, like the queen of, of wands is unstoppable and she's very confident in her ability and very direct and capable. And so I feel like this person is having to work with this energy before she gets to that step so that what she moves towards is something she absolutely wants. So I feel like this is the transmutation. This is this person healing. This is this person doing this. And with this five of swords, I feel like it's a challenge. Um, because I, I feel like, well, five of swords is, is sabotage energy, but it, it also is sometimes where there's a no win situation. I only see one sort of energy here. So I, I feel like this person is feeling like it's a no-win situation for them. It's conflict. It's mental conflict. It's, I can't win. I, I can't really do anything here. And, and I mean, these swords are curved because they look like, um, what are those, Sikh swords? So, yeah, I don't know what they're called, but they're curved here. So, I, and there's so many of them. Like, I feel like this person has to get truthful about so many aspects of their life. Here we see the dragonfly wings again which is seeing through illusion, getting clear, okay, again, getting, they would need to get clear and certain, but before they do this, there's a process that happens here, and it's kind of this, this gold that's melting here, again, turning the lead into gold, like, I feel like it's a process, so that this person can see through illusion, can get very clear and certain and honest, but right now it's sorting through this, and it's very painful with the Five of Swords, okay? And I'm feeling like Five of Swords, I'm feeling Seven of Swords from this. It's like sabotaging ourselves um, by not allowing ourselves to be honest and authentically who we are. And I, I feel this person is maybe seeing this in a way now for the first time, you know, how they might have not been themselves how they might have sabotaged things and connect connections and relationships and cause conflict instead of harmony so there's lots this person is having to work through and see very intense reading pile number two this is definitely not going to resonate for all of you guys okay if this did it could certainly be your energy as well but i don't know how you'll know if this is your person unless they're completely like pulled away in some sort of hermit energy or they've told you they're going through something then this is the something they're going through Okay, so this person needs love, this person needs acceptance. I mean, we all need love and acceptance, but specifically when we're in, you know, a situation like that, people need to have patience because this is quite the process, quite the journey, all right? And if this is you, my heart does go out to you, and I am here for this process, however need be, and I am so glad you're here. Um, yeah, if you're drawn to another pile, go check that out, and I will see you soon. Bye! hello hello my most beautiful pile number three you guys pick the orange red colored um lotus flower on the lily pad absolutely beautiful kind of looks like a blood orange so what are we looking at well the person on your mind person you came here about and how is this lunar eclipse full moon in libra impacting this person okay um this could be your energy if it's your energy, meaning your person might be in another pile, okay? Because that's absolutely common here. Do not make anything fit. Use your own intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear to determine whether this is your reading because there's no way for me to tell you. 
All right, and this is the intuition tune-in. So I'll be laying out these cards. I've not looked at them, and you can, like I said, see something here that's going to confirm your intuition. And then we will get into your reading, and we have tarot as well to pull. Okay, so we have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Beautiful. Service. Orange chakra, which is the sacral chakra service i'm feeling um leo energy and i'm feeling virgo energy so we have surrender to creativity let your imagination soar stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem and we have surrender to what is flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace We have a mirror here and, and a butterfly. Butterflies talk about transformation and freedom. And then we have the sun kind of rising here in the background. More Leo energy, I'm feeling. Uh, we have first quarter moon in Aquarius. Trust the universe. Beautiful. Aquarius energy. And we have keeper of wonder. Look at that. A little dressed up bunny on her head. A bunch of flowers. And it looks like a circus tent. Keeper of Wonder, number six. Six is all about problem solving, compassion. It's all about harmony. Could be the lovers in the tarot. It's also could be the devil in the tarot. So we're getting Gemini and Capricorn energy coming through. We have Adventure with Self, number two. Two is all about balance, duality, choices, partnership. Adventure South. Okay. We have growth with plants, earth energy, heavily here with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, 19 or the number 10. 10 is about uh, completion, ends of cycles, transformation, trees about stability, could be about health, growth and plants. Okay. South node with past. Interesting, you guys. Look at this. Two different tarot packs, both talking about the past south node self and adventure 33 is also number six which we were getting with the keeper of wonder which we talked about already lovers and um the devil but uh, 33 is a master number and it's a reproduction creativity humor christ consciousness joy harmony coming through very interesting energy because creativity was coming through there hmm <laughs> okay 12th house with introspection, number 50 or number 5. And we have the chakras here. 12th house is more than just introspection here. 12th house could be about endings. We were seeing um, with the number 10, closure. It's also about spirituality. The 12th house is also about limiting beliefs in the subconscious. What is hidden, the afterlife. It's about karma, spirituality. Mm, okay we have pay attention you're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you're being given both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed these signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life powerful let me put this over top of this so we could tap into the numbers as well when i channel okay mm, beautiful we have the Sagittarius sign here with your highest ideals, the rules of, and get it out to the world and beautiful Sagittarius energy. And we have 62 or the number eight, Willow the Wisp, treasures hidden in the shadows. Wow. Eight is all about movement and change and attainment. Could be the strength card in the tarot, which we were feeling with courage here, because courage is the strength card in the tarot. It could also be the star in the tarot, which is Aquarius energy. You don't have to be all these signs or your person to resonate, okay? But lots of signs are coming through here. So it could be in the natal chart or just the energy in which this person is encompassing here. So new path emerging. Look at that. And it's interesting how we have the tree or the, the green foliage here growing from this moose i think that's a moose yeah looks like a moose and then you have the little green here growing right at the tip of this little tree here 
So it looks like a tree growing on a tree. And the rest are kind of missing. Okay, we have tranquility. Tranquility, wow, I haven't picked up this energy in a reading ever. Tranquility, wow. It's going to be very interesting energy. Ooh, okay, so what else do we have? We have 19, or number 10 coming out again. So two 19s, 1919 could certainly be an angel number you might want to look up and see what message you get but we have the six of swords that's moving away from from harsh times and five swords and moving on to calmer waters and then we have tower towers about sudden change okay i'm feeling a very peaceful sort of tower here um but uh, change has changed nonetheless here pleasant surprise okay tower Tower is always falling away of the old things that cannot stand in order to make way for new. So we have tough love with 49. Okay, so uh, that's number 13. 13 is giving me um, death card in tarot, which is Scorpio energy, the death card. Uh, it is time to tell the truth about something you have been avoiding. Tough love. Oh my goodness. Well, with the tower... This is all about having to get honest about things in order for the, the false to fall away. It's time to tell the truth about something you've been avoiding. Tough love, okay? And we have squaring the circle. And we have gratitude. Wow, and, and this person's wearing all black. And when I see someone in all black, sometimes it gives me like going to a funeral or leaving a funeral. And that's the death card I was feeling. The 13, the death is about transformation and change and the end of cycles, gratitude. And let's see what this uh, squaring the circle is about because I am being called to read this one. Um, but I need to find the box. Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to pause real quickly to get the box. All right, without fail. I always get at least one pile at once reading of the cards. So... Let us read what this is squaring in the circle is about, and then we will get into your reading. And I don't know if necessarily this is, yes, it is alphabetical. So where would S be? Over here. S. All right. So celestial celestial messengers we shall wander in immensity and the stars will be our gleaming ships in alchemy the metaphor of squaring a circle relates to mastery over our inner and outer operations understanding the correspondences in nature and in mathematics the master alchemist can be the master alchemist can see the relationship between that which is above and that which is below that which is within and that which is without they are able to see the significance of all the changing seasons, the wisdom and the differences of the elements, and the intelligence in all the directions, becoming one with the four. Their vision is whole, as all transitions of time are fully appreciated. As a conceptual medita meditative practice, let us incorporate this idea into a breathing technique called box breathing. As we seek to master our minds and operate from the grace of self-mastery. And then it has all the steps to this uh, thing. Mantra. I am one with the elements, seasons, directions, and sky. I am complete in my understanding of the infinite and perfect why. I've squared the circle and see life with philo philosopher's mind. There's gold in this perspective, and I appreciate this clarity of my inner eye. I don't know why I read that like this. And it's very difficult for me to read when I'm channeling. But this is pretty much this whole reading, what I was feeling, the whole reading. This person, they've mastered themselves. I feel like this person is in, in this really beautiful energy, okay? Like very beautiful energy. So I don't know if this is you or your person. You do what you will with this information. But I asked specifically Spirit with this lunar eclipse the full moon in libra how it was impacting this person and i feel like this person is mastering themselves completely holy as above so below as within so without and 
not only is this person coming into complete balance, uh, they're learning to work with the divine, they're learning to work with people around them, they're understanding all is one, they're learning to trust in themselves, they're learning to trust uh, like their intuition, they're learning to trust sign symbol synchronicities, this person is being shown downloads, they're being fed information with dreams, this person is also like uh, contributing in some way here with the service. So I think they're giving to humanity or this person is just caring for other people, okay, which again is giving to humanity. Like I feel like this person is giving to humanity in a very profound way here by reflecting back to people consciousness. Like this person's waking people up. This people's this person is transforming other people, waking people up here showing them the light, showing them the way by just reflecting back to them who they are. I think this person's accepted consciousness in a way here that doesn't fight it, that sees the beauty in all that is, sees beauty in pain, sees beauty in suffering, sees beauty in peace, sees beauty in love, and is non-duality non here because I feel like this person's found peace, has found Satori, has found enlightenment, I'm feeling so much beautiful peace here. Like the purple flowers here are giving me um, jasmine. I don't know if this is jasmine, but I, I smelled the jasmine and I don't generally channel scents so much, I think infrequently, but I, I'm smelling jasmine flower very heavily. And so I'm feeling like this person is like, um, not only are have they found their peace, I feel this person's energy is so peaceful, like, and, and, and feels very protecting, like, very gentle. And, and I feel like it's this tranquility feeling coming through that I felt that I said I haven't felt in a, in a reading. I don't know, like, I haven't felt this energy, like, of such beautiful, peaceful tranquility. And, and what I'm hearing and, and I'm downloading right now, it's like, when this person's asleep, they're not really sleeping. It's like this person's state is kind of constant. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but I feel like this person's state is constant. It's like this tranquil place that doesn't only come with sleep. I feel this person's found their peaceful place, whether they're awake or asleep. Wow, that's really intense spirits. So... I feel like this person is being shown the way so that they can be a pave maker here or pave the way to other energies. And I feel like it might have not have always been this way for this person here, okay? I feel like this person has come a long way to be kind of here in, in this energy. It's taken a lot of self-reflection and a lot of self-work and we're seeing the past self note. So I feel like in the past, This person, like to get this uh, twice, uh, their past plays a, a really huge, significant role here. I feel like whatever's happened in this person's past has caused this person to be like this. So they could have suffered a near-death experience, traumatic situations, a complete turnaround in their life. Whatever this person's experience in the past here has been so significant and profound, in such a way that it's changed them, who they are, their life's mission. And so because we're talking about the lunar eclipse here, that's about all about reflecting, you know, and looking back on the past and contemplation and all that. So I don't know, this person could certainly be looking how far they've come, how different they are. Because I feel like the past is, is stuck in the past here in a way that will forever be there, but that this person's energy here is completely different. And so I feel like this person has had to fight through this, you know, and, and they've had to be strong. And I feel like this person might have had to do this on their own or alone at some point in time, but I feel like this person is ascending, they're growing. And I feel like now their beauty is starting to shine here, like in a very organic way. I mean, this person might have always been beautiful, but I mean, now 
its beauty in a way that's very confident and very apparent and very organic and very much what was hidden and going on in the inside is now being reflective on the outside like slowly but surely everything that was magical and happening on the inside of this person that was truly beautiful and magical is now growing on the outside i feel like this person is in this um very amazing sort of um, energy of manifesting exactly what they want and for those of you guys who have been in that energy know what i'm talking about when you are in this energy the manifestations become very instant and very clear and very yeah just quick instant we're able to manifest because everything's aligned this person's completely in balance and aligned and, and the beauty starting to to come out here in a very beautiful way that's now matching the the inside is coming on the outside so i'm still feeling with these three cards here because this is all about you know like well this is the past but this is the what's hidden in the subconscious here and it's karmas so that is with the past you know and that three cards here are taking up quite a bit of space so that maybe there's something still here in the past here with the introspection like this person's looking back on it or they've learned from it something about the past is coming through i'm gonna read tarot to see i feel like this person is in a very confident energy here of taking aim though at what they want and and maybe it is because of the past that they know what it is that they want for the future so i feel like this person yeah with this pay attention to like they're getting signs symbols synchronicities and they're also very much in a manifestation energy that can attain whatever this person wants here and so we see a crumbling here of something okay and so i feel like potentially there was a part of themselves here that had to go away and it's time to tell the truth about something you have been avoiding so it could certainly be something in the past that this person was having a very very difficult time letting go of that wasn't fully built on on solid ground that they've learned to accept the honest truth about you know and allow the tower to fall or accept some sort of truth about the past which has been very difficult for this person to do but i, I feel like they're no longer avoiding this and we're going to pull tarot to see that as well because uh, there's question marks around this but new path emerging like i feel like this person is opening doors here for themselves that were never open in the past because of this energy that they're encompassing here and and, and things that they've found within themselves by doing the work treasures hidden in the shadows in the shadow self in the subconscious i feel like this person has found answers has found peace has found themselves has found consciousness has found again non-duality some sort of tranquility jasmine peaceful place wearing white is very pure and peaceful as well wow you guys this energy i'm telling you it certainly could be your energy right uh, i don't know but this is beautiful so let's see spirits clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of beautiful pile three thank you so so much for this blessed reading i am so thankful so blessed please protect me and the viewer as i channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile three how is the lunar eclipse this full moon in libra impacting the person on pile three's mind the person they came here about how is this energy impacting this person clear and concise thank you so much pile three for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. I am truly blessed. Thank you so much. We have the three, this is Empress. I was gonna say the three of, but Empress energy. Empress energy, like you guys, this, this reading is so synchronistic. Look at this mirror, oval mirror. This is the most abundant, card i could pull in the tarot okay all love all the queens in one unconditional love completely abundant this empress is a master manifester plus because she has that that queen of wands energy but she's also the queen of cups the queen of swords and, and the queen of um pentacles very grounded very intelligent has experienced things and, and she's done a lot of work she's looking in the mirror so that's all about that subconscious that self-reflection and now she's holding this out to the world 
her light is lighting the world. It's enlightening other people here. Beautiful Empress energy, Taurus and Libra energy coming from this, um, Venus. And we have the Three of Pentacles, another three. Threes are all about growth. Okay, growth we have here with the, the plant here. And threes are about relationships and initial success. Three is the Empress. Three is also the hangman, okay, Pisces energy, which is getting enlightened, working with spirits and seeing things completely different. And it's also the world, which is completion, end of cycles, successful completions. And, but the three of pentacles is about working with others to create a third entity, how we show up, how we engage, being available to work with others to create something beautiful, okay, two, two people can create a, a third entity entity here it's the synergy of two makes equals three we see somebody holding a brick here bricks are pretty heavy so i don't know like maybe this person was weighed down in the past this brick's going in this open spot i don't know i'm getting questions here about this brick i'm not sure yet what this means let's keep going and see if anything becomes more clear we have seven of swords so Seven of Swords is where there's deception. It could be self-deception, could be things are very clear, could be is someone kind of flying under the radar, not being completely honest. And so I'm getting that from this tower energy with the, 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 the truth needing to be revealed in this. It's time to tell the truth about something you've been avoiding. I feel like this person wasn't being honest about something in their own life here. And it might have been very painful for this person to accept some truth, to see a truth. And they finally are able to see the light. And I feel like that was the very last thing that was weighing them down. During this full moon, this uh, lunar eclipse, this person is able to put the very last piece of what was weighing them down, which was this thing that they might have thought they saw, some sort of thing that they believed to be true in some way that weighed them down and did not help them. And I feel like this is freeing this person up to this beautiful energy. We'll see what this thing is. I don't know. All of you guys could be something completely different, but whatever was holding this person in some sort of mindset of deception, I really feel was the last thing that needed to be resolved in order for there to be a completion here. Yeah. Why did we see completion? Do we have world somewhere? Why did I feel world was coming up here? I thought we had the world. Oh, yes, it was coming through uh, with the Empress energy because because we were seeing and, and with this three of pentacles because the number three is the world re reduced. So the world in the world here with the number three and and I feel as though that's the end of, of a cycle. OK, yeah. And, and the final brick in this frame is kind of the last thing. What do we have? We have the moon, very fitting because we're doing a moon reading. So moon is Pisces. Moon is the right now energy. And although you might not be watching when I post because this is a timeless reading, this is moon energy influencing this person for sure. But the moon is coming out with this seven of swords is that not seeing clear, being deceived. Okay. And... I don't know if this person was buying someone else's lies or lying to self, but there's something this person wasn't seeing. And it hurts like hell when we get out of the moonlight and we see things for what it is. But it's also freeing because we could put away the heaviness. And I, I feel as though this person wasn't wanting to see. Okay, like her eyes are closed here. It doesn't have to be a she, but I'm feeling divine feminine energy. Moon is divine feminine energy. Emotions. This is also subconscious energies coming through. So maybe something about themselves that they were having to come to terms with. Or just them having to come to terms with something and see something for what it is that they weren't wanting to see. About their past or about what's happened to them. In order for them to see clearly. For them to drop the weight we have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, how we express ourselves emotionally. 
Uh, this guy is riding a turtle. A turtle always talks about the length of time here, but it's also protective energy. I feel like this person might have been on some very slow journey here, okay? But I do feel like with the cups talking about emotions, with the moon talking about emotions, like I, I feel like this person has had to really tap into their emotions and really had to come to terms with certain things here. This person could have been uh, trying to protect themselves as well from potentially getting hurt. And we have the Six of Swords. So coming out of turbulent times, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person was in an energy here that was uh, not good for them, okay? I, I feel like this person, and, and there's an ankle tattoo that could be significant for somebody. It looks like scrolls. I don't know tribal tattoo scrolls words could be words but this is where we're in five of swords situations you know dealing with people who aren't cooperating no one's winning it's a no win situation it could be a mental prison and we're just kind of again this is um the five of swords which is about sabotage could be self-sabotage here with the moon the seven of swords and so the six is moving out of that energy i feel like this person is free Okay, slowly, the, the turtle is about slow moving energy and the six of swords is slow moving energy out of five of swords. So I feel like this person might have been in a situation that wasn't very clear. Maybe they weren't wanting to see or they were kept in the dark. They were deceived. They were needing lies to fall away or things that were built on shaky grounds to fall away in order for them to be free, for them to move to calmer waters, for them to put that last final heavy thing they were carrying, that brick, to be done with, concluded. Okay, and I, I feel like emotionally they were investing potentially in whatever this thing is. And maybe they reached a point here of tough love. Time to tell the truth about something that they've been avoiding to do because of a pain. And, and something that could have been very painful of the past. And like I said, subconscious coming through twice. And this is over top of this. Okay, so there's lots we want to see here, I think. Whether we'll get the answers or not, I don't know. And it could be because there's so many different people here that this is applying but i want to see what this seven of swords and moon energy because that's a deception deceptive energy same with the tower which is falling away of the of the lies and things that are not sturdy things that can't stand the test of time because they haven't been planted or built on solid ground and look now we have these trees growing Trees are all about stability and security here. So maybe whatever wasn't stable and secure was had to be released in order for there to be a finality here so that they could plant something secure. So let's see. Spirits, can we please get some more? More information in regards to the deception, the moon, the tower energy, this tough love, and all this south node past experience that this person's experience here. Clear and concise message, a deeper layer here in understanding how this lunar eclipse, full moon in Libra is impacting this person. Thank you so much spirits. I am truly blessed. Thank you so much for this information. I'll take the one that revealed itself. And one more. Okay, I'm getting super hungry, guys. We have the Page of Cups. So we saw the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups. Okay, so pages are communication. This is uh, inner child. This could be an immature energy here. This is somebody opening up their heart space. I am getting a download right now, and, and this might not be um, relevant to all of you guys, but if this is your person... I feel like your energy might be coming through here as maybe somebody who might have not showed up for this person. Like, I'm feeling an immature energy here, okay? And I don't mean to call you immature, but I feel like potentially there was love withheld from this person or an inability to show up for this person because a page could certainly not fulfill an empress energy. And this person is definitely coming through as an empress. And I'm feeling page energy, which is... 
more of an immature sort of energy here, okay? But with the Knight of Cups and the, the, the Page of Cups could certainly be a love interest. Somebody we had emotions for. Maybe this person was expressing because we saw the pouring of the cup pouring a lot of emotions here but with the seven of swords and the and the moon there's a lot of deception here and i don't know if you've been honest with this person or this person wanted to see something that they weren't seeing clearly here and i feel like whatever stability you guys might have had was nil like very shaky six of swords again we saw that in the in the tarot okay so this person's moving out of whatever difficulties here and, and i feel like this person's happy as well here okay like happy to be out of that and, and i feel like with the black again like the death of something in the past the world coming up so many times here i was feeling like concluding a cycle but we're asking specifically about the, that that deception here nine of swords yeah the anxiety i feel like this person might have gone through a dark night of the soul a, a, a situation here in which was very 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 unpleasant can't eat you can't sleep you're in some mental prison it's a lot of heaviness here okay and it's a very dark place to be. And I feel like this involves a, the a connection here, potentially with somebody who was incapable of showing up for this person, okay? Because I feel an Empress energy and then I, I'm feeling a Page energy. And then I'm feeling a lot of anxiety around this and a lot of chaos, a lot of Five of Swords, which is, is nobody winning, sabotaging energy. And we have tough love here. So it could have been that this person experienced a lot of tough love on themselves like putting themselves through something here in order to learn some experience here with the snakes and heal through this experience a very painful okay what else do we have seven which is chariot energy cancer so we saw that with the moon cancer energy this is successfully getting to the end of something here and, and balancing ourselves and integrating our shadow when we go through dark night of the soul we integrate dark parts of ourselves the shadow we integrate where we were stuck where we were needing love and we're successful because we can manage and get through and and move forward with the universe i feel like this person's moving forward successful movement has been able to integrate whatever pains they've experienced in the past here in order to move forward find their balance hermit inner work this person's had time to reflect and really go through and understand, you know, certain things that, again, in the moonlight might have appeared one way. But the only way to understand the moonlight in our subconscious is to, to walk the hermit's journey here. And the hermit's journey is lonely because it is walked alone, Virgo energy. So I, I feel like this person, I mean, we're talking about the influence of the upcoming lunar eclipse here. So certainly could be doing this, but I feel this is in passing position. This person has had to do a lot of inner reflection. And I feel like they weren't given all the answers here with this closed book. So there's a lot of information that was withheld that they couldn't see. The moon showing up here again. So I feel like this person was having to really, really kind of walk in the dark here. It caused a lot of stress here. And I feel like the change for this person is now going from that energy into this more tranquil place. A very peaceful the victory success upright okay from being very removed and anxious and i don't know like if they were dealing with your energy here i feel like there was a potential imbalance and now i'm seeing a balance here so maybe they've had to seek balance elsewhere or seek balance within themselves because there was an inability to find balance here with whatever they were investing in here and they have to become very honest we have the six of pentacles, no, I'm sorry, nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. So this is finding one's own legs to stand on. Confidence, being grounded and capable of not needing anyone or anything to like fulfill us because we're completely just solid we found what we needed we found our inner confidence we're well to do we're just not depending on anyone else this is like the independence card here okay finding success i think this person's had to find their inner self has to, had to stand on their own two feet had to be independent of whatever connection or whatever they were invested in here 
And like I said, for a lot of you guys, I am feeling it could certainly be your energy if you are, if this is your person that you were engaged with because they were having a lot of anxiety here. They had to learn their independence and their confidence and stand on their own. Not, not to depend and look at all these turtles. So I feel like this has taken a long time and I also feel like there was a lot of cycles. Okay, cyclical things maybe this person had to learn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. So I don't know. Maybe it took nine times, nine cycles, and I don't know, like just repeating certain things here until this person broke into their own independence and, and had to really understand what they weren't seeing to see through the moon. Because again, the moon here was them, I think, not wanting to see something. And it could have been, you know, I don't know, the truth in regards to this page of cups. And I do feel there was a pouring of emotions. And I feel there was an imbalance. And now I feel like this person is going to balance here with this chariot and the six of swords moving towards something that is more calm and more balanced. And here we have the knight of pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Something practical, manifesting very slowly. But but I feel as though something's manifesting in this person's life. And I feel it's taken a very long time with the, the turtles, all the turtles and the, the Knight of Pentacles being the slowest moving knight here in the tarot. And it's been a journey. And so I feel like this person has succeeded or this full moon, this lunar eclipse is bringing this person to the promised lands. I feel like they're balanced or where they need to be the universe has pulled them through wherever was sort of the moonlight yeah so i don't know if you've lied to this person or if this person is lying to self i feel like this person's finally seeing choosing to see okay so let's see some more here i, I just want to see are we missing anything because there's a lot of past self node and a lot of subconscious energy I'm picking up here. Is there anything else pile number three needs to know about the person they came here about? Anything in regards to the past that needs to be clarified here? Sometimes spirit doesn't talk too much about the past because what matters is the present. And we're wanting to see with this new energy of the lunar eclipse, what state this person's in. But there was a, a heavy presence of the past here. And I feel like that was the moon energy. You know, that was what impacted this person to, I don't know, get into this thing. So anything I've missed, anything that needs to be clarified, one more spirit for pile three. One more card. Anything I've missed, any questions pile three might have right here, right now, in regards to their person. Anything they might want to know. I'm feeling that one as well. Okay. Put that like that. Feeling it like that. Okay. So, <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Walking away from what doesn't emotionally fulfill. This person has certainly had to do the hermit introspection where we really go within and ask ourselves if we're content. Eight of Cups is the same thing. Are we happy here? Why not? And where can I find my ninth cup if I'm not happy? And sometimes we're emotionally invested so heavily that it's very difficult to walk away okay i feel like this person has had to be honest with themselves and tell tell themselves what emotionally makes them happy and i feel like they've had to do this walk okay so if they've walked away from you then it was to find emotional happiness and if they haven't walked away from you is whatever it was in this person's life that was emotionally not making them happy they've released themselves from that that final brick that was weighing them down is no longer five of swords yeah no longer five of swords because they are moving to calmer waters whatever was a no win for them i feel they felt alone i feel with the dragonfly wings here they're seeing through the illusion of something that was five of swords that they might have not have wanted to be honest about that caused a lot of strife and conflict it could have been this connection with you. Here we have the chariot in the exact same spot. And you guys saw me shuffle. Okay, success. So yeah, they were five of swords. And sometimes five of swords is self-sabotage because we don't want to see certain things or we're involved in someone else's sabotage where we pay the price. Nobody wins. is a very challenging energy. And I feel like the polar opposite here is success, is finding balance is integrating what was bad and transmuting it into what is good in order to move on, to move forward, to walk away so we can find happiness. 
and be successful. And this is working with the universe. And here we have the Page of Cups coming out again. I do feel like if this is your person I'm reading, you know, then you're coming through as this Page of Cups. And maybe you have a lot to learn about love and how to show up here for this person. Maybe you've had a conversation with this person that's provided them some insight here. But Page of Cups is opening the heart space. It's innocent love. It is it is an immature energy here, but it's the stirring of the heartstrings and being able to be open with love and explore it. And this may have added to this person's Eight of Cups in some way here, okay? Because Eight plus One is the Nine of Cups, and this is emotional happiness, which I feel this person is emotionally satisfied now. So I don't know if you've had a conversation with this person, and maybe you guys are, are starting the early stages of a connection here or the development or they're, they're starting the early stages of a new connection. But I, I'm feeling this person's found emotional happiness for them. And I feel it is due to a conversation. Their beginning of a, a relationship is what I feel strongly here. Okay. So what else do we have? Tower. Yes. Double tower energy. I feel like whatever was going on in this person's life in the past had to come tumbling down. Whatever belief system they had, I think, was needing to fall away in order for the new energy to be successful, for the new relationship to come in or the beginning of a relationship to come in. And this could be, again, like if you've been involved with this person, it could certainly be that, you know, you guys are starting on this new journey here because they had to walk away or, or release something that didn't serve them in their own life. And I don't know, maybe they walked away from you and, and that was an upset or it shook you up or changed the dynamic here in this connection but I, I feel like there's an energy here that's coming forward communicating and I feel like whatever was not working is now back on track or this person's now back on track because there was a person they were involved with that was immature or just there was conflict five of swords so I don't know if this is new page energy or not, but if this person's involved with another page here, I do feel this is an empress energy and you could certainly be resonating as a page or maybe this is how you see yourself. But I do feel like this person is absolutely happy here with the nine of cups and this chariot. So it could be they don't see you as a page or they're just emotionally satisfied with whatever is going on here in their life. Look at that. Magician, master manifester. Yes, what did I say? This person's like master manifesting. I do feel like they're able to really attain whatever they want here because their energy is so balanced. So I do want to see, this is also Virgo and we saw with the Hermit Virgo and, and Gemini because it's Mercury. That's also communication with the page here. So I do feel there's been communication here that's, that's allowed this person to manifest. So I want to see and that's also as above, so below. So this person was able to manifest something they really wanted here. And I feel it was because they were able to identify what they did not want. So what's with this page? This page energy that keeps coming up, the page of cups spirit. Can we just get a little bit more on the page of cups? Clear and concise. Is this new love? Is this existing love? Is this innocent love? What is this? Ooh, one card went flying. Give me a second. It fell face up. It's the lovers. Yes, love. Balance, harmony, two people coming together, choosing each other here, showing love, destined relationship is what I just heard here. This is Gemini energy as well. So heavy Gemini, two people who are choosing to show up and, and give love. And I feel like this is the beginning of this, but I feel like this person sees you as your, as an equal here. And both are tied here by the foot. So I don't know if there's a, there's definitely an attachment here. There's an attachment here. So I am feeling as though potentially this person's had to deal with, I don't know, like codependency or attachments or something. But I feel both of you guys are kind of tied here by the foot so that's very interesting both feet are tied i feel there is a balance and i do feel there's a union and i feel there's um 
them seeing you as their equal here. If this is your partner, then they definitely see you as an equal. Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's like... I feel like this person is now in a position to stand up for what they want, what they believe in. And I feel like maybe the past version of themselves, you see this person here who's like naked, more tattoos all along the body here, this one too. So tattoos could certainly be significant, but I feel like this is someone vulnerable. This is someone who might, might've felt like they were incapable of standing up for themselves or just like they were down and out, you know, and now we have somebody here who's fired up, who's able to stand their own, who's come against like all these adversities and still is capable of standing and being successful here maybe they had to fight for what they wanted here with this tough love i feel like this person wouldn't back down and, and wouldn't give up is what i feel and and they've had to walk away from emotional distress these two and then we'll wrap it up so we have page of swords more page energy this is communication this is understanding so this person might have had to come to some sort of understanding here. There might have had to be a lot of dialogue around balance, harmony, around what this person sort of wanted for themselves, because this is like trying to gain a better understanding. And Seven of Swords, yeah, like gain better understanding of what they couldn't see. They have a better understanding or they ask questions so they could see clearly where they were yeah, like not seeing the truth. And I don't know, maybe you weren't being honest with this person and you've had to have a conversation with them or maybe you deceived them or you weren't being completely upfront. But I feel like wherever this person was not seeing or being deceived was causing a lot of grief here. And I feel like this person is now getting clarity with the communication because we're seeing communication coming through with the magician, communication with the pages. The Gemini is about communication as well, and the lovers, and it's causing harmony here. And I feel like this person is now, ha feels like, yeah, like they want to stand and, and fight for this connection or fight for what they believe in. But I, I feel like there's victory here, balance, and success. So this person's what are they going through with this uh, lunar eclipse? I feel like this person is coming into a very beautiful energy. And I don't feel this was always the case. And so I feel like the final thing that was weighing them down is something they could put aside. And I feel like this person, like I said, is, is working in giving of themselves to other people. Could be giving of themselves to you. Could be make, healing you, making you feel better, giving some sort of service, working with the public, working with a community of people. I feel like this person has had to step into courageous energy here in order to stand up for what they believe, including if they had to, you know, go through tough love here on self or give tough love on you. It could be the other way around and flipped as well. Okay, so there might be a history here with you and this person with the South Node. Maybe you guys were connected in the past, past lives. There's something about the past, past, past. Keep it coming through. I better end because I'll just keep going and all these downloads just keep coming through. So solar eclipse for me is really impacting how i'm getting downloads and don't feel very impacted here by this uh lunar eclipse to be honest but who knows um i just feel solar eclipse energy for me is very very awakening it's a very enlightening so if you guys resonated with all of this information then i'm happy to hear that you can certainly go check out another pile if this sounded like your energy and your person could be elsewhere i love you guys very much have a beautiful lunar eclipse. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye.